What's going on everybody? Today I'm doing a smoked turkey on the Traeger Timberline 850. So stick around while I get this bird on the pit. Before I start, I'm gonna preheat my Traeger to 200 degrees. I'm gonna put on super smoke mode. If your pellet grill doesn't have this, don't worry about it, it'll still work either way. And then I'm gonna crank it to 325 after two hours to get that crispy skin. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is thaw your turkey, if you bought a frozen one, which I did, at least four or five days prior. Mine still needed to have a little cool water run over it. It was just a little frozen still, but not too bad. Anyways, after you do that, you're gonna to wanna to pull anything that's left on the insides, like the neck, the giblets, whatever. Then you're going to want to take some paper towels and you want to get the moisture off the skin. That way it will crisp up. Yeah. All right. I have a few things that I'm going to stuff it with. That's going to help as it cooks in the pellet smoker. It's going to release the flavor. These aren't going to be things you eat, but it's going to just give more flavor from inside out. Now this is a pre-brined turkey. If your turkey is not pre-brined, you're gonna to wanna to do that the night before. But we don't have to in this case. It'll say on the package whether it is or it isn't. So let's just go ahead and we've got some apples, some onion, we get a lemon piece in there. And then I also have a bed of herbs that you, you can take and tuck away in here if you do it on the outside, the herbs, they'll burn. But you put them in here and then as it cooks, it's gonna release those flavors. And of course, traditionally, celery. So I have it stuffed with all my fruits and vegetables and herbs. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some cooking spray and you can use olive oil, butter, whatever you want. But I'm just gonna spray the outside of it this will help with the coloring and it'll help with your seasonings to stick. But before we do seasonings, after I spray, I have some Zatarain's roasted garlic injection. So you want to make sure you get the breast and the thighs and the legs real good. This will give it some flavor and it'll help keep it moist during the cooking process, which nobody wants dry turkey. All right, now, now that we're done with that, I got the barbecue rub and one first coat of AP seasoning, just salt, pepper, garlic. Just a little bit. I'm gonna put a little barbecue rub on there. Doesn't have to be too much like it would be if you were doing a, a pork butt or a brisket or something, but give it some good flavor, coloring. Okay. Now the legs are already tied up, so they'll be pulled in, which is what you want. The wings, what you can do is take them and fold them under if you're able. Okay, right after you fold the legs and wings, you can touch it up a little if you need to. Now it's time to get on the grill. All right, putting the turkey on at 200 degrees with super smoke on, and I'm only gonna have it at this temperature for about two hours, because I need it at a higher temperature, 325, to get that skin nice and crispy. And I'm gonna go ahead and probe in the breast and the thigh, and that way, if one starts cooking faster than the other, I can make adjustments at that time. So anyways, I'm gonna set it, and then I'm going to come back in about an hour and a half or so and do the first baste. All right, I'm back. It's been about an hour and a half. 
and I'm basting with melted butter mixed with some rosemary and I just want to get the outside skin really well done and I only want to do this about two times during the cook because I don't want it to be soggy but this will keep it from drying out too much and add a little bit of flavor. We're getting close for it being done but the breast is getting done a little bit faster than the thigh meat is so I'm going to put a foil on the top so it doesn't get too dark on me and allow the thigh meat to catch up. All right, it's all done. I'm gonna go ahead and put some foil on it, let it rest for about 20, 25 minutes, and then I'll be ready to cut it up and dig in. So it's been 25 minutes. I let it rest before I cut it up and it was nice and juicy. The skin was crispy. It had a very light smoke flavor. I prefer a deeper smoke flavor, but that's what a stick burner is for. This was just a, a nice Traeger smoked turkey. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And there will be many more videos to come. Smoking a lot of different things. And a lot of comparison videos and things like that. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And we'll see you next time.